Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. And today we are featuring from the Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures line. We have Dinobot Slug, formerly known as Slag for you older collectors. Um, so uh, this is uh, from the Transformers Cyberverse line. It's aimed at the younger fan, ages six and up. So this is not for, intended for the much more hardcore collector, um, but I think I think this is a great line of toys nonetheless. Uh, the Cyberverse line of toys isn't something I'm necessarily f fully dabbling in. Um, I do have a handful of figures, but what really piqued my interest was the moment I learned that I could complete an entire set of Dinobots um, in the Cyberverse. So um, they actually have the entire lineup now. You can actually buy figures of Swoop, Grimlock, uh, Slug, Snarl, and Sludge. So if you're just a Dinobot fan, we're at the point now where they have toys of all the Dinobots. It's no longer just Grimlock. So for me, that's very exciting. It's awesome. And that's why we're here. We're here to check out one of the Dinobots. Um, I love the box design. Um, Slug. The illustration looks awesome. Um, this, this figure and the Sludge figure were actually the figures that really got me um, into this specific line of toys uh, just because the mi the minute I was in the store and I saw this figure I'm like oh my god this looks so much like the original G1 toy I have to have it um, if you have like the first wave release of Grimlock and even the ultra class figure of Grimlock for the Cyberverse Adventures Grimlock's design it it barely resembles the original G1 toy Whereas a lot of these um, later Cyberverse Dinobots, they look so much like their um, original counterparts from the 80s. And when I saw this at the store, I looked at the, the box, I'm like, you know, there's a cool illustration here. And then I was just so sold on the robot mode. I'm like, this looks awesome. And same with the um, Dinobot mode. It looks great too. Uh, the last time Hasbro gave us Dinobots in this scale... Um, that were pretty G1 accurate. I want to say it might have been with um, Transformers Power of the Primes. And I believe that toy line might have came out quite possibly uh, maybe five years ago. Um, but it's so like I said, uh, these toys really piqued my interest. For me, the idea of being able to complete an entire set of Dinobots is very appealing. Uh, big fan of the Dinobots as a child. Big fan of the Dinobots as an adult. Um, I have a, I have a, I have, an, I have like I think two shelves where all in my display collection where all is is just Dinobots. Yeah, the G, I have the original G1 Dinobots. Um, I have like the movie inspired Dinobots. I have a bunch of third party Dinobots. I have Dinobots that are in smaller scale. So uh, you get the point. And anytime I could complete an entire team of like Transformer characters, I always get excited. Like uh, for me, I always get a kick whenever Hasbro releases all three of the original Seekers. Or if they go that extra distance and release all six of the Seekers, like, I always get a kick out of that. And you know, likewise with the Dinobots, now that I could complete the entire Dinobot team, it's like, it's awesome. All right, so first impressions of the figure while it's in the tray. Um, I'm pretty impressed so far. I mean, for a deluxe class figure, it seems to be, you know, the right height, uh, decent size. Um, I like that it comes with multiple accessories. Like, you know, we have his axe, we have his gun, and I believe this is like some sort of blast effect. Right, so this guy's kind of something's holding him in. I'm not sure what it is. Whoops, looks like I took his shield off his head. Um, Alright, I'm not sure how this attaches back on. I'll 
put that aside for now. Alright, the one thing I hate about all these unboxing videos, I hate toys that come with these little tiny plastic things. They're, they're more annoying than twist ties. I love twist ties because you can actually reuse twist ties. You can't reuse these for anything. And they get everywhere. They're all over the floor and the carpet. They get all over my table. Alright, so when I was removing this guy from the box, his little head shield came off. I'm not sure how must how this thing snaps back on. All right, we'll worry about that in a second. Let me deal with the transformation first. Maybe it'll help me resolve that little piece that fell off. Or let's let's try to get it on right now. There we go. Okay. Awesome. 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 All right, so first impressions of the figure right now um, while I'm handling in the robot mode. It's a nice figure, decent size. Um, I love the fact that this really, really evokes the G1 vibes. This really feels like what G1 um, slag or slug looks like. And just for comparison, um, here's the original toy. So this is the, my original uh, Dinobot toy as a child. Uh, this is from the 80s, um, seen better days, but I took care of it, cleaned it up, and in terms of this guy's robot mode, let's compare the size. I love the old G1 Transformers, their transformations were so simple, they weren't over, you know, thought out, and you could get it done like in a couple of steps. All right, I'm not going to move all his joints because some of them are pretty tight and I don't want to break the plastic. Like his one his one leg here doesn't always fold out all the way. It's really, really tight. And I don't want to crack it, so I'm just going to leave it out just a little bit. All right, so yeah, this is the original G1 uh, slug or slag, whatever you want to call them. Uh, let's get him into focus. Um... Uh, be a moment. Let's get this guy's head right. All right. For some reason, my camera does not want to focus on these guys. All right, there we go. Yeah. So as you can see, the new figure does a great job of like kind of ca capturing the spirit of the original toy. Um, Size-wise, you know, it's almost the same size. This one has a little bit more mass to it because it has die-cast metal pieces. Uh, but for the most part, I do think the Cyberverse figure is, a, is paying great homage to the original toy. And in many ways, I kind of like it a little bit more than the um, Power of the Primes uh, figure we got a couple years back. Alright, so if I'm going to transform this guy, I want to see if I can do this without the instructions. Although this will probably turn into a train wreck. Um, just because I want to see if this guy's kind of true to form in terms of the original um, the original toy. But I have a feeling that I'm going to need the instructions to help me out because I am never good at doing, doing these things. Shoot. And I lost his fist. Um, 
I might just cave in and do the plot the instructions actually. Um, dang it! How does this fit in? All right, it knocks his fist out. It won't go back in. Uh, All right, this is gonna turn into that Grimlock video all over again. I can feel it. That video was a mess. All right. So I'm guessing this turns out this way. This guy has really tight joints. Yeah, this guy's transformation is a lot easier than Grimlock's. Grimlock's was a mess. I couldn't figure that one out. This one, on the other hand, it feels a little bit more intuitive, especially if you've handled the original toy. The only issue I'm running into, even if it is an issue, is that the, joint, the joints are just super tight. But for this, you know, tighter joints are better. You don't want something that's going to... You know, fall apart. Or I think I have something upside down. What the hell happened? Okay. I was one step ahead too far. Um, these go up. These go up. Yeah, much more uh, simple transformation than Grimlock. I'm still kind of leery on whether or not this is something that a six-year-old should handle. It feels like... Um, not that it's prone to breakage, but I think a little kid, especially as tight as some of these joints are, I can see it being very frustrating for someone that might be like six years old. But yeah, very cool. Um... Very stoked that I was able to figure out the transformation without the instructions. Unlike that Grimlock video, that was horrible. I hate that video. And let's get his mouth closed. All right, I am running into issues trying to figure out how to do his head. It's not working for me. Oh, I take it back. Okay, he had he has one of those deals where it's like a fake mouth, so.
Oh, there we go. Okay. So we have Dinobot uh, Slug in his Triceratops mode. And in terms of his cannons, this mounts onto the back. Um, it comes with two blast effects, or it means a single blast effect, but it's like double barreled. Attach that there. And then you take his axe and mount it on top of the cannon for additional weaponry. Yeah, so it's decent. Um, it's, it's not perfect, but I think for what it is, it's pretty, sto it's pretty solid. I, I'm not too stoked on the fact that it's a little gappy right here. But that's okay. Um, I think I transformed it right. Uh, looking by looking at the instructions. So yeah, pretty decent version of slug or um, slag, whatever you want to call him. And the reason why they changed his name out is because slag is considered a derogatory term. And they actually even addressed that in the IDW comic books. If you're a fan of the comics. And let's, let's get a side-by-side -side comparison with the original. <sighs> okay, so here is... Here's the original slag on the bottom, and we have the newer one on top. So it's kind of cool. Um, I still like the original toy a lot. But I think, you know, for a younger generation, you know, to get a Dinobot that's a little bit truer to form and feeling more like the original G1 toy is pretty cool. You know, they didn't take too many liberties with the design. But I, I, I'm, I think I'm much more in love with the robot mode um, than anything else. I think the robot mode's like almost perfect for me. Let's get that back in robot mode. So for me, the most difficult part with the transformations is trying to get the, the legs to um, transform. It's not that it's um, difficult, but the, since the joints are tight and some of the pieces, they want to hit each other when they're moving, it gets a little bit frustrating. But for the most part, I think it's a it's a great toy. Yeah, this this feels a lot more intuitive than Grimlock. Grimlock was a pain in the butt. I couldn't figure that one out. Yeah, I could picture children being frustrated w with transforming the legs. The legs is where it gets kind of like, it gets kind of messy. But the, you know, the end result, seeing them in, in um, robot mode, I think is awesome. It looks great. And then this folds back. This comes back around. Yeah, I'm liking this uh, robot mode a lot. This looks this looks amazing, and I love that he comes with two weapons. He comes with a blaster and an axe, and this is a really cool blast effect too. I like that they went with the hard plastic now with the blast effects, as opposed to that softer plastic that would melt. Yeah, so this looks great, awesome. Very excited to have a set of Dinobots. And this completes our review of Transformers Cyberverse um, Slug, or Slag, depending on when you grew up. All right, if I had to rate this figure on a scale of 1 to 10, um, for me, 7.5 to an 8. It's not perfect. Um, the Dinobot mode can be a little bit tricky when you're transforming the legs. It's a little bit gappy, but the robot mode really wins me um, over. 
So yeah, solid figure, solid effort. Can't recommend this enough. If you're a Dinobot fan, uh, be on the lookout. You can actually complete a full set of Dinobots now. So, all right, let's wrap this video up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber or viewer, thank you so much for your continued likes, comments, and support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I will talk to you later.